Young Kip final. Bo Jackson, forget about it. Untucked for Decroft. Seven nothing for Decroft. Rogers steps up and he throws it. Brandon Cooks has got the speed. Oh my God. And he what? will take it to the crib. And he throws it into the end zone. And Moss off the tip from Holt. Touchdown, Kip. Smiles all around. Final play. Final chance for Kip. Trying to buy time. Looking, looking. And there is your defending Seahawks club champion, Decrop, looking to make it back to back. But standing in his way is Young Kiv, a rematch from what might have been the most exciting game from the entirety of Madden 20. The main event of the evening, Kiv and Decroft here in the Seahawks club final. What a day it has been. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Nick Mazesco alongside the best button broadcasting, Tyler Davis, TD. What more can you say? A rematch of the best game in Madden 20. Kevin Decroft for the Seahawks. This is it. This is the heavyweight match. If you're a fan of competitive Madden, this is what you came to see. Kiv versus Decroft 3, the grudge match. I'm so ready. Let's see how these guys got into the finals here. It was a tough battle through eliminations. Kiv, 24-11 on the PS4 side. Decroft, 27 to nine on the xbox side and that's how we ended up with the repeat here in the seahawks club championship presented by century link and speaking of young kiv this is one of the top players in the world the former belt winner in young kiv taking a look at his player profile i mean he won that madden 18 bowl stormed under the scene with that win over Drini in the bowl 2019 he was the seahawks club champion uh, took down a killer Mike in that game. And then last year's the runner up 13 MCS major appearances, the most all time Titty Kib, one of the most storied careers in the MCS. Oh yeah. When it comes to the MCS, this is the guy, you know, top five in the game, arguably top 10 all time, you know, 13 majors over $240,000 career winnings. What else do you need to say about him? The guy is just good at Madden football. Let's take a look at our tale of the tape. It is brought to you by the Seahawks Pro Shop. Whether it's game day or a day of gaming, the Seahawks Pro Shop is your one-stop shop for everything you need to rep your favorite team. Find all the latest Nike on-field gear, exclusive hats from New Era, player jerseys, and more at your nearest store location or online anytime at Seahawks.com slash Pro Shop. Look at those win-loss records. I'm doing my math here. That's a 238 an 11 combined record by these two in the Seahawks club game. I'm just shaking. I'm just shaking my head. Like, what do you even say to that? Like, these guys just don't lose at Madden. There's 123 and two, uh, 116 and nine or whatever it was. Like, just insane. Absolutely insane. And the biggest thing, these guys, they live about 30 minutes away from each other. They're both diehard Seahawks fans. This means more to them than anything. And we get to witnesses and we take a look at young Kiv. Shane Kivlin, 23 years old from Edmonds, Washington, the Madden 18 bowl winner. And look at that career earnings, $240,000 and change. He's one of the best, TD. Yeah, four-time Seahawks finalist. You know, I asked him, you know, why does he continue to do this? He said, in quotes, I need my get back. He's looking for revenge. You know, Decroft won in overtime last year. So he's looking for revenge here in the grudge match. Yeah, I think if there's one knock on young Kiv, one in three in the Seahawks clubs looking to avoid to go one and four, his player to watch. No surprise on the 818 squad, Brett Favre with Gunslinger. Yeah, if you want to watch offensive football, this is the game for you. Young Kiv, he's going to need that Gunslinger with Brett Favre. He's going to he's going to pass pretty much every play. That's what young Kiv does. So watch out for that Brett Favre to make some big plays for him. Well, he's going to have to go through the defending champ. This is the rubber match. One and one. Kiv got Decroft in 18, or excuse me, in 19. Decroft got Kiv in 20. Daniel Mycroft, 20 years old, from Muckleteal, Washington. He was the Madden Bowl runner-up last year, TD. It was that win in the Seahawks Club final that really propelled him to a fantastic year. Yeah, we thought Decroft was an up-and-comer, but boy, did he break out in Madden 20. I mean, he won the Seahawks Club, he won LCQ, and then he was the Madden Bowl runner-up. So I think the sky is the limit for this young 20-year-old from, from Washington. 
He was one win away from his first belt. Looking at his player to watch on his squad. It's a player who's had a big day today. Julio Jones, Route Tech, and Slot Apprentice. Yeah, Julio Jones is the guy to watch. You know, D-Croft runs a very unique offense, but he's so good in it. That U-Trips is phenomenal. That Julio Jones, he can move around. He's going to have that Slot Apprentice, that Route Tech to run some great routes for him. Well, it's what we've been waiting for, not just all day, but ever since we saw it was in the finals. Everyone's had this game circled. The rematch, the rubber match, the grudge match, whatever you want to call it, it's a fantastic game of men. Kevin Decroft kicking things off as it will be TNC's Decroft with the ball first. It, it, listen, we talk about the crew battles. We keep bringing it up. TNC. They're 1 and 0 right now. 818s 3 and 0 looking to go 4 and 0. How even is this matchup, Tyler Davis? Oh, it's so even. I mean, this is if you're a fan of competitive man, this is what you came to see. And, you know, I have so much respect for both these guys because honestly, Nick, if either of these guys would go to any other club, they would probably win. But they are such diehard Seahawks fans that they're willing to go battle against each other every single year, and that's just awesome. JD, how do you like the flex from Kib with the Madden 18 belt on his bed right behind him in frame? You gotta love it. He's motivated. Like I said, this is his get back. He wants revenge. He's showing it off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a late throw. It's picked off. What a start for Kim. It's Dion. Right side. 15, 10, down to the five. A disastrous start for D. Crump and a beautiful start for Kim's defense. You just said it, Nick. That belt behind him. He's looking for revenge. And first play out the gate, D. Croft with a terrible mistake. Kim takes advantage, and he's already on the four-yard line. What a start for young Kip. As we take a look at this, not only is it a pick, TD, it's also an insult that it was a penalty. He threw that beyond the line. He threw an illegal pass beyond the line and gave the ball to Kip inside the five. Yeah, just an unfortunate play. You know, that play to me a little bit looks like nerves. You know, first game, first drive, first play of the day. It's a big pressure game. I think Decroft just kind of... Made a mistake, you know, he, he went up in the pocket, thought he had the guy open, tried maybe tried to low ball, but then it got a bad animation. I don't know the situation, but just kind of an unfortunate play, and Kiv's going to take advantage. There's one benefit to it happening on the first play. It's it's real easy to put it in the back of your mind and forget about it. Oh, yeah. It's the first play of the game. You can definitely get over this. You just got to lock back in. Well, only a four-yard field. On. Hold the door Hand now. Come on. Push. Decroft with some run defense. What do we expect from Kiv offensively inside the goal line? Are we going to see mostly run plays? Yeah, like I said, Kiv is just usually passes every play, but inside the red zone, it's really going to be a lot of runs. You see him in this I form tight, some power O, some dives, maybe a stretch, but he usually has a Come little. On, one sometimes, more. Come on. Kiv is known for his red zone passing. He really always has some type of money plays that he can go to in the red zone. So I don't know what he's going to cook up, but on the six yard line, this is where it gets really tough. So Decroft, obviously with the bad start, but if he can hold him to three, he's right back in the ball game. You know, we, we said it's always fun when you watch this club championship, everybody trying to represent a, a man or an NFL team. It's fun when you get real fans of the teams. Both these guys, Washington natives, they live 30 minutes from each other in the Seattle area. They're both diehard Seahawks fans. You can see the Russell Wilson jersey behind Decroft. Third and goal, on, handoff to stop. Bush. And how about the There's defense from Decroft off, off the right turnover? He holds him to a field goal. Yeah, I don't love the play call there from Kiv. You know, he usually has something cooked up within that red zone. He always has some type of single back, double tight end, some type of thing cooked up. So going to the halfback zone, to me, seems like he's, he wasn't super prepared for the red zone, but Decroft got the stop he needed. Nonetheless, he is ahead of the clock, 3 nothing. Uh, and now we get Decroft with the ball back, and it's tough to say what we're going to see from Decroft's offense because so far he's really only had one play, and, uh, well, that... One play was a turnover. As let's take a look at that turnover one more time. Stepping up in the pocket, and it was just a, a dead read the entire time. Yeah, we've seen a lot of Deion Sanders with some uh, big plays today, and another one there. Yeah. Just an unfortunate play for Decroft. He's got to be sick about it. But he did hold him to three. If you're Kiv, you're in a great spot, though, because you, you got that first pick. You got some points on the board. You're back on defense. And we're going to see Decroft now in this New England Patriots offense. He loves this U-Trips formation. This time he goes to a play that he... Certainly can't throw an interception on. He'll hand that to Reggie Bush. Picking up four. 
Yeah, and like I said, if you're a fan of offensive football, this is the game for you. You know, both these guys are just two of the best in the world. The route combos they use, the spacing, it's just next level stuff. And Decroft has been good in this formation for the last few years. Pride of Mississippi, Brett Favre at the helm for Decroft. Vernon Davis picks up five underneath. It's going to be a third and short for Decroft. Little baby out route right there from the tight end spot. And Decroft rocking that Brett Favre at quarterback as well, just like uh, Kiv with that gunslinger. So manageable third and one here. He might even run a little halfback power, but usually he'll go to like a hitch and use some, he uses the, the most motion out of most players that I know. And drop back with Favre. It's like a three-man rush from Kiv outside of the pocket. Come Take on a now. shot. He's got Vernon. Come on. Ten, five, oh. down to the two-yard line. Decrop the Come huge on. pass. Get seven now. Absolute laser. The tight end post, smart routed down the field. The zone defenders didn't react to it. You can't get much more open than that. Beautiful play down to the two-yard line. And TD, that's why these players, they use Vernon Davis. He's got the wheels to get downfield and make those big plays over the top. Now can Kiv stand tall inside the five-yard line? Goal line formation for Decroft. He's going to flip tight end to the left side. He's going to hand it to fullback Derrick Henry. Gets nothing. We saw Kiv's red zone offense wasn't great. Is Decroft's a lot better? This is where it gets real tough. You know, you're gonna see you're gonna see a lot of guys go to that goal line fullback dive. Most people have lab defense for this by this point. Second a goal. That that's what I was gonna ask you, TD. I, I feel like for at least the last month, goal line has not been the move inside the five. It seems like every good player has some sort of defense for it. Definitely, and when you get to this point, when you are two of the top 10 players in the world and you have the best crews behind you, you are prepared for everything. So these guys are, are definitely prepared for any fullback dives, any goal. Come on, let's go, come on. He's got Bush one blocking on now. the come edge. On. No fullback dive, get Reggie Bush into the end zone. The two-time All-American puts Decroft on top six to three. What a response by young Daniel Mycroft. You know, he had that bad pick to start. He held Kiv to three, and right down the next drive, he comes down, puts seven on the board. Way to bounce back. Kiv to get the ball. Down by four. This game far from over. If you like high Come quality on. competitive match, you are in the right place. 7-3 the score was the big play to Vernon Davis that set up Decroft to find a touchdown on his second offensive drive. Yeah, you see him in that bunch, Kiv flipping that bunch to the right side. You're going to see some of the best route combos from this bunch, like I said. My! Oh, pressure on the edge of the football! Come it's picked now. up by Jackson! Come on! Take work in an ice cream store! He's got a scoop and score! He's bringing the heat. He comes off the edge clean and gets a strip sack fumble. Hey, kid, wow, hey. What a heartbreaker for Kiv. What a start. After the initial interception, TD, D-Cross found the big mo. The momentum has changed so much. You can see it in their faces as well. Decroft's bobbing. He's feeling it. Kiv looks distressed. He looks distraught. He's angry with himself. But there's nothing you can really say about that. That was just a great dial-up blitz by Decroft. Oh, hit him. Come on. 14-3. to Decroft with the lead. It was heavy pressure off the edge. Who else? Taylor Mays. It was Taylor Mays with the strip specialist. I didn't even realize it was him. He Why? has that strip specialist. Why? Come on now. Come on. And Nick, that is why roster building is so important. He user rushed with the strip specialist ability off the edge. That is genius. Five, five, good fuck. Just throw to the left side. I feel like after this game, Bose is going to come out with some sort of headphones over the ear with a with like a head strap for Decroft. Keep those bad boys in place. <laughs> what answer does the Madden 18 Bowl champion have? Hasn't been an ideal start. Plenty of time left. Nice throw over the middle. Great dot to the 45-yard line. Kim a little unlucky on that strip sack fumble, but... TD, I, I look more to that turnover down inside the three-yard line. You've got to find a way to cash that in for six. 
Yeah, he needed seven off that. I know that's going to be hurting him right now, but plenty of time. 14-3 here. Sticking in that bunch. And I do want to point out, you know, Kiv running the gun bunch meta, but Kiv does not have route combos like the meta. He is he is a uh, trendsetter when it comes to gun bunch. Farv, quick throw to the flat. It's oh, Reggie yeah, Bush, yeah, yeah. and now we see I'm Kiv starting to work. Yeah. Of course, 818 has some big plays dialed up, but this is what they're best at, those surgical drives through the air. Oh, yeah, definitely. Those 818 guys, so good. And like I said, Kiv is just the best. Probably, I would say probably the number one bunch player in the world. If you had to ask me on a short list, he's within, the, without a doubt, in the top three. But I do think he's probably the best bunch player in the world. You're seeing it right here. He does some, he, he flips a lot. He does a lot of different route combos that you don't normally see uh, from like meta uh, bunches. Here's the pressure off the edge pick. That Come time on, bro. Dion and how about give him a little TNC special? That little low ball hitch. End Come of on. one. What a start! Fireworks like Fourth of July. It's 14 to three. D. Croft for the lead. We expected that. You know the main event of the night. Uh, and you hear D. Croft talking about acrobats. D. Croft going with two acrobats. Kiv actually has seven acrobats on his defense, which is the most out of anyone today. Going back to mesh post. Real look underneath. Nice read to Julio. For these guys in 818, I, I like to akin these underneath passes. They're basically like run plays for any other crew. It's picking up two or three yards quickly. Yeah, and you know, two guys that really stand out to me is Kiv and then Ghost. They, those are the two of the most patient guys that will they'll always take their flats, they'll always take their drags. That's why they're so difficult to stop. Take a tackle, Inside, come on. That's tackle. Reggie Bush. Good spin to stay in bounds. He'll pick up ten. Nice play right there to the flats. Decroft trying to bring a little blitz again. Decroft's going to have to kind of switch up his coverages. He got that huge strip sack, and that was a great dial-up. Maybe we'll see a couple more of those, but uh, he's going to have to mix up his coverage as well. Two big Seahawks fans looking to rep their squad in January. Final game of the day. Shout out to everybody out there in the chat hanging out with us all day long. What a night. Near the club championships. Far. On first and ten. Ooh. Risky throw over the middle, but he picks up the first down of the 18. I almost thought that was picked. I was so confused I. for a second. I, was like, <laughs> I had to wait for a second. I was like, wait, what just happened? I, yeah, I had to look at the scoreboard and see who had possession because that was a weird play. But that low ball with Slinger, so difficult to defend. Um, you see Kid going to that play smash return a lot. It's got the tight end on a little corner route. He's got a streak. It's like a flood concept with a backside dig. So I like that play call. Um, he's really opening up the offense. First and 10. Darren Waller. Take a tackle, oh! Come on. Hold here. Hold like here now. Taylor Swift, he says shake it off. Down to the five yard line. First and goal. Can Kiv find six now? He's got to capitalize now. This is where touchdowns become important in this game. You see him going to that flat route. Those tight end flat routes are money this year, especially if you don't have any hard flat zones. You can hit those all game long. So nice play right now. But this is where Kiv, he didn't have an answer the first time. Let's see if he cooks something up. Come on. First and 10. And how about the run defense from Decroft? It has been stellar inside the 10 yards. It's been stellar all day. Bush, four carries, negative four yards. Yeah, I'm surprised by this. Like I said, Kiv usually has some red zone offense. I, I'm looking for maybe a play action, something to catch Decroft off guard, because I don't think these I-form tight runs are going to do it. Favre on second and goal. Oh, pick Left it. side, oh, almost picked off. He Come had, on, he no, had the running back angle play. road. Come on, D up. Don't let it affect this play. He had the running back angle route wide open. He just made the wrong read. If he was a second more patient. And I don't know if anyone catches him. That was that looked like a pick six. There was a lot of space on the right side. Third and goal from the seven. Kiv trying to lock in. I like this. D. Croft, you heard him say he doesn't like this using one of those timeouts. Yeah, a good timeout right there, though, by D. Croft. Make sure everything's good, because it's a big play in the game. you got to hold him to three if you're D. Croft, and if you're Kiv, you need seven. Far third and goal. Stepping left. Back of the end zone. Come High ball. Big hit. No catch. Is Kiv going to settle for three once again? The defense. Decroft. 
Yeah, and Kiv knows. You can see in his face. He's been around so long. He knows that these field goals in the red zone are what can cost you down the stretch. You can, it's almost like I can see that reading off his face. He knows that kicking these field goals in the red zone is hurting him badly. On the plus side, he also knows as somebody who's been around the game, he's the most MCS live event appearances at 13. Fourth most, I think, on the money list. He knows that at the end of the day, it's better to get that three than get stopped and end up down 14 nothing. It's still a one possession game. Without a doubt, Nick, you cannot go for the touchdown there for sure. Um, you definitely have to take your three because if you, and Kiv is comp, Kiv is a very underrated defensive player. So if he can get a stop here, he'll be golden. But it, D Crop is really good on offense as well. In trouble, down goes far. Finally, Kiv gets some pressure on the quarterback. It's Javon Curse with the sack. Loss of nine, second and long for D Croft. He dials it up. I love the play call. Put some pressure on, on D Croft. Kiv's in, he's not in a do or die situation, but it's getting to that point where he's got to get something going. So I like him sending the heat right there. We'll hit the two minute warning. What a first half. Everything we had hoped for, TD, when we saw this game on the schedule and Guess what? We've still got six more divisions to go through. We're only going to have eight spots filled after today. Yeah, man. I'm excited, but this is the game everyone's been waiting for. These two guys, the grudge match. Second and 19. Toss it underneath to Davis. You always say, big on those second and longs, just get some of it back. He'll get 10. Yeah, excellent job right there by D. Crofton. Smart, smart right there. Get half of it back. And if you're Kiv, you're okay with giving that up because it's still a difficult third and nine. But um, we'll see what D. Croft cooks up. You know, I, like I said, he uses motion a lot. I would expect to see motion pretty much on every play. Exactly. He goes over to motion, uh, B over to the right. Looks like a motion slant. Five, third and nine. Uh, Stepping up in the pocket. Oh, big hit by no. Kiv. And it's this, oh, this could turn the game. Kiv's going to get the ball. If he can get a stop on fourth down, he'll have great field position. D Croft is gonna go for it. He's not gonna punt. He's gonna go for it. I'm, I'm a little surprised by this. He's played solid enough defense. I don't, maybe he doesn't feel confident enough or he's just always so confident in his offense. But Nick, this is a huge play in the game. Oh, could this be a turning point for the Kiver? Fourth and 10. Three wide set. Far, fourth down. He'll either look brilliant. He's taking he's the him. shot, he might Come have on. him! Moster uh, down to the 15 yard line and a hot time. one cooked up in the kitchen! Mm -hmm. One of the clutch's hottest dots you'll see on fourth down with a huge play in the game. He has a laser 97 speed Moster up the middle. Phenomenal. He, he's, this is the thing about Decrop too. His pocket presence is just next level. He has probably the best pocket presence in all of Madden and you saw it perfectly on that play. Mm -hmm. Absolute beam to Mostert. Minute 20 to go. What a clutch play from D. Croft. You know how much this club means to him. First and 10, handoff to Bush. He'll lose a yard. He goes and from picking really up 60 to losing one. It's a no-win situation too right now for Kiv. He just burned his final time out. Because so D. Croft can take all this clock now. He he can run the ball three times or two times and kick his field goal. He can run the ball here, maybe pass on third down. But really, the ball is in D. Croft's court right now. He can do whatever he wants. Honestly, TD, how many times are you in that situation on your own 20-yard line up by eight? How many times are you going forward on fourth and ten? Nick, you told me yesterday I scored like three points and, or nine points and zero points. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I, it was 17 would, points and zero points, sir. Oh. Exactly. You, you you know I'm punting in that spot, so I don't even know why you asked. <laughs> fair. It's tough, but fair. Oh, God. Third and eight. No timeouts left for Kib. So if he's going to get the ball back, it'll be with a, around 10 seconds to go. And yeah, Nick, I do want to say, you know, going for that fourth down spot, you know, that takes a lot of cojones, you know, that takes a lot of pride right there because that's a big spot if you don't get that. So for him to be that confident in his game, in his offense, it says a lot about the kid. Sometimes you just got to take the shot. Third and eight, 42 seconds left. Kib looking to hold D. Croft to a field goal.
Far. Good user. And I so like smart. that play from D. Croft. Just falling down, don't risk taking a sack, and having one of those fumbles that he got in the first half. So smart right there. You know, see, the average player would maybe throw that away, and, and that those 40 seconds are so valuable. D. Croft goes down. That's just that's just such high-level IQ Madden. And you can see Kid very upset about it because he goes down. Now he takes his whole clock, and he's going to go up two possessions at halftime. It will be Kiv getting the ball to start the second half. Remember how this game started. First play of the game, D. Croft threw on almost pick six. It was an illegal pass beyond the line of scrimmage, and it went down to the three-yard line, and we thought this could be bad. But since then, D. Croft has locked in. He's found some dots Finish down the field. Finish this game now. Finish this game. And he's going to go Come into on. halftime up by 11. Yeah, just honestly... Great first half by D. Croft. You know, he really stopped Kiv in the red zone. That, and that's the key to the game. You know, sometimes you got to play bend but don't break, especially when you're playing someone with the skill level of Kiv. You play bend but don't break, you get him into the red zone, and Tackle, you hold him on. to three. And that's exactly oh, what D. Croft has done. Oh, what a first yep. half, far from over. Here in the Seahawks Club final presented by CenturyLink. 17 to 6, your score. As this drive, you know Kiv is going to be looking to put some points on the board. Remember, in our last game, Free the Penguins, he was down at the half, came back and won this game. 17-6, your score. Decrop, the defending champ, with the 11-point lead. The Seahawks, nice enough to once again put out a pretty sweet piece of hardware. We saw Decroft with something like this last year. They upped it. They upped their belt game. The club champion will receive their custom Seahawks belt. You know, they're all going to be looking to take home that club championship belt. Why not another one? Why not a club championship belt from the Seattle Seahawks? And a reminder that our champions are not the only ones who can be winners today. Make sure to go to Seahawks.com forward slash gaming to register for your chance to win a Russell Wilson core elite card. Jump in there soon. Supplies are limited. So make sure to sign up for your chance to win the Russell Wilson Core Elite Card. Don't forget, coming up next, Derwin James versus the World, presented by Oakley. He'll be taking on YouTube star QJB tonight. Oh, does he have a chance to take down Derwin? What's Titty, what you got the line set of that game? I, I heard last night the line for against Ocho Cinco was Derwin by 35. I think this one's going to be much closer. Yeah, I'm still going to give Derwin, you know, minus 21 a boat. But I'm definitely excited for this game. I think it's going to be closer. That game last night was a lot of fun between Derwin and Ocho Cinco. Scott Cole and the spokes player will be on the call for that one. It should be a lot of fun oh, coming up get, immediately ah, following this on. game. Oh, D-Croft. Send it Taylor Mays once mm, again. And you see Decroft, he wanted another sack fumble, that strip specialist. He wanted it badly. And Nick, I was going to say the two differences in this game so far is that is that beautiful play with that strip sack on the user rush. And then also just getting Kiv in the red zone like we talked about. Those have been the differences in the game to this point. Second and 15. Lucky to hold on to the ball with the strip specialist coming around the edge. Far. Almost rolled into a Tiger, sack. Instead, he delivers a laser to Vernon Davis, the legend, down to the 46-yard line. Kim's got some dots dialed up. Beautiful flood concept to the bunch side right there. He goes with that Z spot play. You got a smart routed corner out. You got a streak behind. You got the flat underneath. Um, just a staple of Madden every year is those flood concepts from from bunch formations. Pump. Favre over the middle. Nice throw to the former Crimson Tide. Julio Jones. Kim's been efficient. 10 of 12 passing the ball. Is he at this point nervous about getting in the red zone? Does that get into your head when you've had two drives stopped inside the five? Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, Kim is just always confident because he's having great success until he gets in the red zone. I mean, he's just lasering up and down the field. It's just can he get something going in that red zone or can he get a big play touchdown? How about looking left side once again? When in doubt, corner route to the 20-yard line. Yeah, and you know, people talk about glitches and Madden and all these things, but if you really watch Kiv, he's using a lot of real-life football concepts, just added in with some different things, but he's really running a lot of mesh concepts, flood concepts uh, to the to the sideline, so you could take a lot from him 
just playing offense, man. It's always it's always fun to watch. Come on! Come on. Yeah. And Teddy's got Come him! On. Finally he into the end anything. zone! It's the Madden 18 Bowl champion to Julio Jones! Kiv back in it! Super dot right there by the Kiva, as my guy RG would say, the Kiva. He's back in it. Super dot right there. And he came out in the play, so I think he's going to try to take a delay game, take his extra point. Um, I think it's a, it, I think it's early enough where you can take your extra point, but it's definitely a consideration to go for two, but now that he's at the seven, it's a lot more difficult. Big shout out to our guy. I know RG's watching at home. The legend, one of the best guys in the community. We love you, man. Miss you on the Come broadcast, on. but we know, we know RG's as locked in as ever. I heard it. He's had, he he, he told the uh, he told his loved one to, family room TV. It's reserved for MCS action. <laughs> Without a doubt, my Boston brother right there, RG. RG. Yeah, yeah, we dominate today. Seventeen, thirteen, your score, and how about that drive from young kiv anybody who thinks this ball game is over you do not know young kiv question is does he have the defense to stop these deep bombs d croft has been dialing up yeah and it just seems like kiv always comes up with those clutch dots you know we saw it last year um and but to, to force overtime we've seen it time and time again i remember game versus noah last year so but now it's going to be about his defense you know d croft has looked phenomenal on offense as well so can kiv get that stop he needs you know, Kiv, about as hungry as we have ever seen him. It's been almost three years since he won his first belt, and he doesn't want that to be his only belt. He wants us to refer to that as his first one. He wants to find another belt to put on the bed behind him as Vernon Davis trucking Casper the Friendly Ghost down to the 25, third and seven. You see him going to that air truck. That air truck was really good most of the year, and then in the latest patch, it kind of toned it down a little bit, so you don't see it as prevalent as we did uh, a couple weeks ago, but goes to the flats right there. So to the Come right on. side, it's, it's Davis picking up eight, and a first down for Decroft. Almost a quick snap there. Yeah, it was. Sometimes you got to do that, too. He goes to the drag underneath. He had a corner out behind that, so you saw Kiv uh, did not have any hard flats, so he's able to check down to the drag, pick up a first down. Eight one eight, looking to go four and zero in club games. TNC looking to go two and zero. One of these will have, one of these crews will have a loss after this game. Oh. Stepping up with Farb and sitting down with Farb. It's Jovan Curse once again. Dance on him, young Kiv. Coming around the edge. You see Kiv getting a little fired up now, showing a little motion, shaking a little bit over there. He's feeling it. Both these guys, look at them. They're both locked in. This is this is where it's about, Nick. Second half. Crunch time. Buck 25 to go. Far. Oh, good user downfield. But there he is again. Come on. It's the running back Moster to the 10-yard line. Another laser up the seam. He's found something in Kiv's defense that he likes. That's two and times now. now. But the big thing was Kiv was able to make the shoestring tackle, so he did not get seven out of it. If Kiv can hold him to three, he's alive. But, man, these are some lasers we're seeing by Decroft. Here's my question. How does the 97 speed Moster get tackled by anyone? He had two steps on him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we saw a lot of shoestring tackles today, kind of saving touchdowns, and that was a big one for Kiv. Can Kiv hold him to three? Great gap shoot there. Day one card, Isaiah Simmons up the seam, the rookie out of Clemson. Yeah, the stud, Isaiah Simmons. Like you said yesterday, Nick, I'd like to see uh, Cliff Kingsbury using more on Sundays, but this, is, this has been the problem for both guys now, this red zone area. Man, it's like they go to that I-form tight, and that, that just has no, they just, that just it looks terrible <laughs> out of the I-form tight, so. Second and goal, I'd expect Kiv to go back to the shotgun, look for some curls, some low ball curls, maybe an out rope, maybe a motion slant, a running back out of the backfield, something like that. Decroft looking for the answer, far. Looks underneath, that's Mostert, he's Come got on! speed! Oh, he breaks a Come tackle on! into the end zone! That's why oh he's one God, of the please, best in the man. game of Madden! Raheem Mostert puts Decroft up two scores. Come on, get a stop now! You see that emotion from Decroft. That Raheem Mostert has been the MVP of the game by far, especially for Decroft. Two big plays up the seam. Then he throws a little baby drag underneath and breaks a tackle to fall into the end zone. And now Kiv is in a desperate situation down 11. 
He'll take it out to the 25 yard line. Let's take a look one more time at the touchdown. It's just a simple drag route. Put it in the hands of Mostert and let him make plays. Yeah, there's really not a lot of space there. It's a tight throw, but Mostert's got all that speed, so he's able to get a couple steps and then break a tackle. Here's Reggie Bush. Picks up about nine and a half. Give me a second of short. Imagine how different this game would be, TD, if Kib was able to get, let's say, one touchdown on those red zone drives. Let alone two as it's Thomas with the sack. Fours up in the chat. We're five minutes away from crowning a Seahawks club champion. Big sack right there. Kib had to get that play off, but, you know, he got to the line so fast, he didn't really get to a lot of make of a lot of adjustments. He didn't get to do any hot roads. He didn't get to slap attack or anything like that. So Decroft comes in with a big sack. And now for Kib, third and ten. He's got to cook something up. Farm on third down. Oh, he's got Come the on. Once again, that's Julio Jones to the 47 yard line. Stop at the clock. Just Great one extra right touchdown, there. TD. One extra touchdown. We'd be in a one possession game. Yep, 100%. Those field goals, like I said, those have been the difference for him. That red zone has really hurt Kiv. Come on. There is that false start penalty. Too many adjustments, too many audibles. Russell Wilson, he's got his X Factor activated, TD. You mean Brett Favre? Well, whatever. <laughs> I saw Seahawks. I went. I I literally see the Wilson jersey behind Decroft, and I go, Oh yeah, <laughs> Wilson. Whatever. <laughs> They're basically the same person, right? Short quarterback, yeah. big arm. Exactly. Super stats. Super talented. Will be in the Hall of Fame. Oh, Throw to Bush. Nick. Nick, he had the slot receiver wide open. It could have been a touchdown if he would just like literally, I think he was on an out rope, but it was so deep that if he just passed it up, it's a touchdown. It's a little shake of the head from young Kiv. Trying to make it 14 MCS live event appearances. Deep crop looking to build off of his unbelievable year last year. Seahawks club champion, LCQ champion, and one win away from a belt. It's Reggie Bush over the middle. The halfback's we'll getting lots of work. Give him 11. Backfield master right there. Nice little angle route, beating his man-to-man. -man. Kiv definitely has plenty of time here. You know, you can try to get seven before the two-minute warning at the minimum, but as soon as possible is what will be best for him. First and 10. Under four minutes to go, down by two scores. Far, has got him once again. That's Hold Vernon now. Davis to the five Hold yard line. TD, we talked about Favre has his X Factor activated. What's he got on him? Man. Uh, I don't even know, to be honest. I just know he has Gunslinger. I don't know what his X Factor is. <sighs> But what a play right it there. It didn't Goes... look like Omaha. Yeah, it's not Omaha. I think it's um, the one where you can uh, throw it deeper if you need oh. to. I'm trying Bazooka. to remember the name of it is. Bazooka. Yeah, Bazooka. That's it. I'm pretty sure it's that. I'm like 75% sure. But great uh, play right there. He went to that flood concept. Use hey! a rush. Let's go! Oh, picked Let's off it's Troy P. It's going to the game. One. It's got Come 98 on. yards of green grass. Troy on. Polamalu. Hey. You can watch his taillights. Drive off oh, into the distance! Decrump! What a play on the goal Come line! On. Wow. What a game changing play by Decrump. You can see the passion from both guys. Kiv banging the table. Decrump screaming, look like he's gonna oh, lose his oh. mind. Oh, wow, what a play. And Decroft with a huge pick six to completely blow it open. That is a game-changing play that might have just sealed him that $7,500 in the Seahawks Club Championship. He knew once it was open space, this ball game was over. Over like Rover. Troy P with the game sealer. Game sealer, Troy P. Run! Come on! Come on, Troy! Hey, for, for anyone at home who thinks I yell too much, I could yell like that.
<laughs> Man, what a play. It, honestly, Nick, it was the it was the turbo rush off the edge that I think got Kiv a little bit nervous, so he stepped up and made have a bad read. Picked off again. That's Denzel Ward, the warden out there to lock this one up. Sanjay Stanley! Sanjay Stanley to run! Come on! You heard the words, Nick. Send a statement to them. Daniel Mycroft, you have made a statement, young man. You are here to stay. Come on! You are... Conservative three straight runs, punt. Conservative three straight runs, punt. Come on! Simple game management now. That's all you need to do. I I I don't need an SAP button. I need I need whatever button Come is that, that gives it subtitles for oh Decroft. I'm glad you heard it. I was like, that was not English. I, I that was that was <laughs> Decroft's own made up language. Yeah, I don't even know what was just said right there, but oh man, that's make a statement. That's, he made a statement. Let me tell you, he made a statement. What is it? For Daycroft, he is primed to go now 2-0 in the Seahawks clubs. I mean, this... Ever since last year's club championship, Daycroft has stormed onto the scene. And now, I mean, if there were any non-believers in Daniel Mycroft from Muckleteo, Washington, yet there are no non-believers now. This kid is the real deal. He's definitely the real deal. Like, he is here to stay. He is a player. Come on. He is a potential champion. I mean, this kid has it all. And, you know, when I talked to Kiv in my interview earlier, he said he didn't even know who Decroft was, really, in Madden 19. And I think after these last two years, everyone knows who Decroft is. Kim needs 98 yards to get on the board and he needs to do it pretty quickly. 255 to go. And for Kim TD, clubs have almost been his kryptonite. For for somebody who's had such an accomplished career, somebody that so well respected, a a a person I think most make people believe will have multiple Come on, make belts. The tackle now. Just make this the club tackle. has been his kryptonite. He's now gonna go to one and four all time in the Seahawks club. Those four all runner up finishes though. Yeah, it's tough, man. Once again, in my interview, I asked him about that. Oh, you know, this. I said, inbounds, inbounds, you know, inbounds. you've had Thank all this you. success, but running. in the club championships, you have struggled a little bit. He's going to fall to one and four. You know, he's had some tough breaks. He really has. He's had some crazy games. But And, and you feel for Kiv because, look, like I said, these two Come guys, on. if they would have picked any Finish other club, the they would easily now. win it. it. Yeah. But they have so well, much respect. They have so much Come on. love for their team that they stick to their team and they go at it each year. And so for Kiv, it's like, man, he's losing out on a lot of potential earnings because of this, but you got to respect right. him for that. He's missed out on a lot of potential earnings and he still has over $200,000 in his career. Nice throw left side. Does it make it any easier losing, you know, all these guys? They're one win away from the final 32, one win away from being able to compete. Uh, to continue competing for that $750,000 oh, prize pool. Get a pick. Does it make it any easier being at home versus having Come to go back to a hotel room? Yeah, it definitely does, man. When you lose um, in the club championship and you've traveled far away and you got to go back to your hotel room and wait a day or two to fly out or whatever the case may be, man, that's rough. So, you know, it makes it a little bit better, but I know Kiv being the competitor he is, being a Fine champion he is, this, this hurts regardless. First and goal for Kiv. It's been the goal to go that has been the killer. Two field goals and a pick. Only six points on three red zone drives. Fine with that, There's fine your with that. difference. Just don't let him score. At least make him take time to score. I like Decroft up by 18 points. Fine don't let that. him score. Just okay, if you're going to let him score, at least make nah, him use boy. time. Hands There's a touchdown for Kiv. Team, he finds the end zone. Yeah, it's a little too late for Kiv. You hear Decroft, he's basically just giving us the game plan now, you know. Let him let him use all this time, don't let him score, let's cut, let's recover the onside kick. He's talking to his team, but yeah, just a little too late for Kiv, you know. 
He's going to try an onside kick, but like we talked about a million times, Nick, it's like a 1% chance, so tough break. Go for two. Come on. Why would you go for two? Uh, two points would have made it ten. He still needs a walk. He still team. needs recover. Hands team, come on. Two miracles. If it's recovered by Decroft, it's your stop. ball game. The defending come champ on. is now the two-time champ. Come on. Two time. Young Daniel Mycroft. He said make a statement. He's made a statement. He's here to stay. The defending two time champion. Seahawks club champ. Daniel Mycroft, now a two time Seahawks champion. Just an impressive performance, honestly. I mean, he played flawless on offense. And honestly, the difference was that those strip, that strip specials coming off the edge, two times it made big plays, and then holding Kiv in the red zone to field goals. The absolute difference in the game. And congratulations to Decroft, two-time champion now. And, and TD, I'm going to go back to it because it's it's so interesting to think about. Remember how this game started. Pick by Decroft on the very first play, and look what he did after that. Exactly. That's why you always fight through the adversity. You could see it in his face, too. He was upset, but it looked like the, the next play, he was back locked in with his mindset, and that's all you can ask for. That's why this kid is so special and has so much talent. It is Nini's and GG's. Decroft defends his title and will be once again your Seattle Seahawks club champion. 31 to 19. And Tyler, it was the red zone defense from Decroft. We've said it. That's what set the tone for the game. That's what won it for him. That's what made the difference. Decroft now a two time Seahawks club champion. And he said, I'm going to make a statement. And he did just that. I think he was excited for Troy P. I think, think he was excited to, to see that open green grass. Oh, man. That was good stuff. And you can see the passion. That's what I love about Decroft, too. He shows that fire every game he plays. I remember when he beat Kiv last year, you know, he looked like he was going to run off the stage and go crazy. And then right there, you see it again. So congratulations to Decroft, man. And just an impressive performance. Offensively, he looked amazing. And defense, he held him to the red zone when he needed to. And he got that big uh, sack fumble that really was the game changer. Well, let's talk to the man who made a statement. Your two-time Seahawks club champion, Decroft, joining us now. Dan, what what a game. I mean, what an absolute game. Let's go back to the first play. You throw a pick to start the game. What were you telling yourself after that play that got you back locked in and got you this win to be the two-time Seahawks club champion? Uh, it was a kind of unfortunate play. Um. I, I was trying to go down, and then I, I, I was caught in two minds between going down and then trying to throw RB because I had RB open. But I got that animation where I started going across the line there and decided to throw the ball, and then I threw a pick. But the big thing was that I made that tackle. Um, I knew that going into this game that the red zone was going to be key in this game because this game is a lot easier to move the ball in than last year's Madden. Um, obviously, as shown, both of us threw for over 80% completion. Both of us played, I feel like, really high level offensively, but... At the end of the day, I won the red zone because the other big play was that pick six in the red zone um, when I was up 10. Um, so the red zone really did was the outcome of that game. And I, that honestly was what I was expecting too. And especially too, like so early in the game, like the game is so long. I um, I just didn't want that to define the game is the big thing. You know, I've worked so hard. And, you know, when you get into these games, you kind of know what you're going to start off with. You know, the plays um, that you want to call early. And then you have something like that happen and you can just, uh, it can be demoralizing for you. But for me, the big thing was I didn't want to let that define the game. I hold them to three, which was huge. Then I get that big play to Vernon. I get seven on that third down. That was a big thing, too. I was, I was getting a lot of sevens on third. I think I got one seven on third down and then another on second down um, in the red zone. So I was able to execute in the red zone, which has been something I've been working on a ton this year. And then uh, I was able to hold to threes and even get a pick six up there, too. Did he hear the game better than I do. <laughs> Dan, you said the uh, the red zone was a difference, and it was, but I think the other difference was also that Taylor Mays with strip specialists. I mean, you had the sack fumble, but then you also had that pressure off the edge, which kind of forced him to throw it quickly, and you were able to get that pick six. So just talk about that Taylor Mays and coming off the edge with that strip specialist. 
Yeah, Taylor Mays is insane. Like, he is insanely good with that strip specialist ability. Shout out to Jamal Adams, the Seahawks player. He actually had the exact same animation where he just ripped out of the quarterback's hands last year. I didn't actually get that animation. I got the one where it causes a fumble, which I've only seen twice in practicing all of this. But I was able to then pick it up and get six there. So those were definitely two huge plays, especially, too, because I believe that was his first actual offensive play of the game outside of the red zone. So that was able to definitely help set the tone in a lot of ways. And then obviously well, that, a, that um, end zone, too. Yeah, I mean, what a performance. Uh, absolute lockdown red zone defense. Not only will you be representing your Seattle Seahawks in January in the club championship, but they put together a, a pretty nice play, prize. I'm pretty sure that you remember getting that club champion, uh, that uh, that Seahawks club championship belt last year. Well, they've upped their game. You're going to be receiving another Seahawks custom belt to add to your collection as a big Seahawks fan, I'm sure that is uh, something you are looking forward to. And not only that, but you'll have the chance to compete for that $150,000 top prize. Biggest prize in the history of the MCSD crop. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Congratulations. And we'll see you in January at the club championships. I appreciate it, guys. Go Hawks. Man, what a day of action we have had here. d -Croft. 3119 over Young Kiv. He is your back to back Seahawks club champion. The Madden NFL 21 Seattle Seahawks club championship is presented by CenturyLink. Chris Rock. Oh, oh, it's not about me. I get it. No, no, no. Zoom in on it. The new iPhone 12 Pro with 5G meets Verizon 5G. 5G just got real, man. Pow! Matt, I think I got my fantasy nights mixed up. Hey, Bill. Hey, Matt. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. You sure? Yeah. Snickers satisfies. The Madden NFL 21 Championship Series is brought to you in part by Verizon. 5G built for gamers. And in part by Chunky, soup that eats like a meal. This pick six here, just one of the defining moments of this last game as Decroft went on to claim his second straight Seahawks Club Championship 31-19 final score. Hello and welcome to Double Coverage powered by Verizon 5G. Derwin James versus the world will be coming up shortly. Katie Emmer, one great user and serious Mo with you. You guys, we're a little spoiled tonight with some big plays and big games, some great rivalry action on display, especially user in this final game of the night. You talked about Young Kiv and Young Kiv and Decroft and how special this rivalry was, and it really was showed in this last game. Yeah, man. You know, I hate to say it, man, but it looks like a hey, Decroft, he built different. He's to me, he's starting to look like one of those guys. You're playing against the Kiva. One of the best, and he did not fold. He came out there and threw an interception, kept his mind in the game, and fought back, and he made a statement game. I don't know if you noticed, man, them TNC boys, man, they bring a different type of energy, man. They ain't afraid of the moment, and I don't know what they got going over there in that crew, but I tell you, they ready. Yeah, and you talk about that statement game. Decroft came into this game saying he was going to make a statement, and Mo, he certainly did. How much does that confidence play into your game? Oh, it's, it's a big factor, you know what I mean? And uh, Decroft had a few uh, tricks up his sleeve, you know, that I don't think really a lot of people even may, may not notice or 
expected. You know, him going for on that fourth down before half when he was up by four was really the defining moment of the game because Kiv really looked pretty unstoppable other than when he got in the red zone. Things kind of got a little bit slow for him, but he walked down the field every single possession. And Decroft really was in a much more tough situations than Kiv offensively, but he, like I said, he had a few tricks up his sleeve and, uh, you know, you got to tip your hat. He played a great game. It certainly was. It was four great games. We have four winners moving on to the club major in January. 49er with his first club title tonight over Samoa's finest. Then we had young Colin with the win over Eli. Then it was free the Penguins with back-to-back -back titles. We can call him Penguins, according to user and or Mo. Uh, he has uh, titles now with two different clubs after taking out Beast Mode Mac. And lastly, of course, Decroft claims his second straight Seahawks club title. And if you missed any of the action, let's catch you up on today's action at uh, Verizon 5G Speeds. We're going to go back to game one. Uh, user starting with you, Samoa's Finest versus 49er. It was the first matchup of the night, and we saw 49er on blast. Yeah, we saw 49er fight back, and then we had a, a great game with Beast Mode Mac. I mean, with Eli and my man, uh, Young Colin, and Young Colin, he stepped up for the moment. Then you go to the very next game with Beast Mode Mac and the Penguins. Man, we had great matchups all night.